right? So I would start right now with a legacy project that has zero tests and I work with those projects, you know? I'm not a, I, I, don't, I don't run away from legacy code. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. If I inherit a legacy co code base, I would start adding tests from the next place I need to change in the code base. For example, if we have a new feature to implement, I will test drive the new feature. Mm -hmm. If I need to change an existing feature, I would test drive ar around the places I need to change. Okay. And then I will make the change. First, I will write the test. Let's say, oh, I need to change something here in the UI. We need to change the, the layout of the cells. I would start adding tests for the existing code. And when I have the tests that I trust, then I will make the change that I want with confidence. Now, if I need to fix a bug in this code base, oh, there's a bug here. I would write a test proving the bug exists and that I understand why it exists because you can only write a test if you know what the problem is. And then I will make the test pass proving that I fixed the bug, mm -hmm. right? So you would do it gradually. You start adding the tests as you go. You don't need to stop development. Actually, yes. I recommend you don't stop developing the app to add the tests. Add the test as you go. That's Every time smart. you change the code base, you make it a little better. Strive to make the code better when you touch it. Every time, you know, make it better, not worse. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is something that's not good. Improve it a little bit. It doesn't mean you're going to stop and refactor the whole code base for a week. No, I'm talking minutes, not hours. Uh -huh. Make it a little bit better, a little bit more decoupled. Like we did with the API, instead of inheriting from the code base, now it has a HTTP client. Took me what? 10 seconds, right? To inject it in there. Now, boom, enable more testability, a little bit more, closer to the goal. Mm -hmm. And little by little, you will clean up the whole legacy code base. It may take one month, three months, a year, but you're still shipping value. You're still delivering value to your clients. You're still delivering new versions of the app as you go. So you get everyone on board in the business as well. If you tell them, no, I need three months just to fix. <laughs> and after three months, you have the code base exactly as it is. The product yeah. will be exactly the same, but you have tests. They're not going to say yes. Yeah, no, of course. of course not. You're crazy. In three months, I will have exactly what I have right now. No. <laughs> I see. So it needs to be part of the development process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Little by little. Yeah. It'll be better every day. 1% better every day towards the goal. And everyone that joins the team will join this mission of mm -hmm. making it a little bit better. It will be part of the process. Everyone working together and then boom, in no time you get there.